Look at this. The birds have been at my crop again. We're going to have to do something, Little Red Tractor, otherwise I'm going to have nothing left. I need something that I can leave here in the field that will keep the birds away. Got it. Come on, back to Gosling Farm. Stan, nice morning. Well, it was a nice morning, Stumpy, until I found that the birds have been at my crops. Oh, dear, yes. I saw them from the windmill the other day. Stumpy, could I ask a favour? I don't suppose you have a few old clothes lying about, do you? Just a few things I could have. <laughs> All my clothes are old, Stan. <laughs> I don't think they'll fit you, though. They're not for me. Could you drop them off at the farm when you have time? I'm going to build a scarecrow. Oh, charming. Still, Elsie will be pleased to see the back of them. Thanks. See you later. What was that? Oh, look. Clean overalls, too. <laughs> what was that? Made me fall off my ladder. I've no idea. What was that? <laughs> right, time to start work on my little scarecrow. What was that noise? Patch? Patch? You all right, lad? Whatever that noise was, it must have frightened all of the animals in the area. Come on. Let's go and investigate. See you later, Patch. <laughs> ah, Walter, there you are. Ah, Stan, the very man. Have, Have you, you heard, heard the... Oh, after you. Have you heard these strange bangs this morning? Cool. Heard them? I fell off my ladder the first time I heard them, and poor Nicola spilled oil all over her overalls. One more go. There. That should do it. Ow! You mean those bangs? Yeah. I wonder where they're coming from. I don't know, but I wish they'd stop. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll go and see Mr Jones. Maybe he can shed some light on this mystery. Look at you! What have you been doing? Bags! Big ones too! Threw me right off me bike! You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards! <laughs> oh, oh. Those bangs are getting on my nerves! Nice cake though! What a surprise. How's this old tractor getting along, then? He may be old, Mr Jones, but he's fully restored now and running like a dream. One of these days, Stan, you should think about getting yourself a state-of-the-art tractor, like Big Blue here, twice as big, twice as strong. <laughs> Actually, I didn't come here to discuss tractors. I was wondering if you knew anything about these big bangs that have been going off all morning. Ah, yes, that. My latest gizmo. Come on, I'll show you. It's a gas-driven bird scarer. Hmm? Let's off a loud bang every now and then and keeps the birds away from my core. <laughs> Fantastic it is too, I can tell you. <laughs> well, it's not just the birds you've been scaring. Half the neighbourhood has been scared by it. We have to keep up with technology, Stan. They'll get used to it in no time. Can't run a farm without making a little noise now and then. <laughs> well, I was thinking of making a scarecrow. They're a lot quieter, you know. Technology, Stan. You mark my words. It's all about technology. In fact, I just bought a new rotivator. No. Oh, you poor dear. I'm going to find out what's making those bangs if it... Oh! Oh! If it's the last thing I do. Elsie, where'd my hat go? 
What are we going to do for clothes, Stan? This scarecrow is going to need clothes. And a hat. <laughs> well, hopefully I've already sorted that. Stumpy said he would bring along some old clothes. He can wear those. Great! One of Stumpy's old hats is just what this scarecrow needs. Ah, I bet that's him now. <laughs> oh, dear. I'd better go and see what happened. Stumpy? Oh, whatever is that infernal racket? It's Mr Jones. He has a new gas-fired bird scarer. <laughs> well, it's more than the birds he's scaring, I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> we really should do something. Yes. Do you know, Stumpy? I might have an idea. A gas-fired bird scarer? Well, I've never heard the like. Oh, that explains it. He's just phoned up to order another load of these. Great, because I've had an idea that may lead to a little peace and quiet around here, but I'm going to need your help. Anything if it means an end to these big bangs. Count me in, Stan. What's the plan? What if the next gas bottles Mr Jones buys were empty? Then the bird scarer wouldn't work, and I may be able to persuade him to use a quieter method. Something more neighbourly. <laughs> I like it, Stan. I like it. We could make sure we knock the empties off his bill so it wouldn't cost him anything. So no harm done, really. Done. done. It looks really good. Yeah, and look, no birds. We've done a good job there. Hey, and no big bangs either. Everything appears to be back to normal. <laughs> Mr Jones! Uh-oh. Do you think he knows? What are you going to tell him? Ah, I hadn't thought about that yet. I see you have your scarecrow finished. He's working too. Look, no birds. I, on the other hand, have a field full of them. I happen to notice the distinct lack of bangs this morning. Ah, yes. You see, now, I... Now, what could have caused that? Well, the thing is... I I... check the pipes, I check the control box, nothing wrong there. So I call the repairman and you'll never guess what he finds. Uh, empty gas bottles? Correct. <laughs> empty gas bottles. So I call Nicola at the garage and she tells me the whole story. Well, you have to admit, your bird scarer was making an awful lot of noise. Yeah, you've made your point. And maybe it was a bit much. So, <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> perhaps these scarecrow experts of yours might uh, make another... You bet! We'll have to get Stumpy to give us some more of his clothes. Well, that's very kind of you to ask. The old-fashioned scarecrow seems to be working. Uh, uh, fair enough. But if the birds come back, then the bangs come back. OK, back to work, everyone. Come on, little red tractor, back to Gosling Farm. Morning, you lot! It seems a lot quieter this morning. Yes, I think everything has turned out pretty well. Oh, here! That old scarecrow looks like me! Anyhow, now at least I get to ride old Nipper here without those bangs going off all the time. <laughs> Take care now. Oh, no, not again! <laughs> Little red tractor, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> the leaves turn a lovely colour in the autumn, but they don't half make a job for me to clear them up. Stan. Hello, you two. Are you a little red tractor doing anything when you've finished? We've got nothing planned. Oh. <laughs> oh, Patch. Poor old Patch. When he was a youngster, he'd have been off chasing that leaf like a mad thing. He used to love chasing leaves. These days he can't be bothered. How do you two fancy a bit of a chase? What? Like tag, you mean? You're on. A bit better than tag. You're it. A paper chase. A paper chase? I said you're... What's a paper chase? It's like a sort of treasure hunt. Someone leaves a trail of paper and then everyone follows it. 
And when they catch up with the person who's left the paper trail, they get a surprise. That sounds brilliant. What's a surprise? Well, if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? So, do you fancy a paper chase? Cool, yeah. You bet. I think Little Red Tractor and I had better leave the paper trail. <laughs> and perhaps we could do with a few more chasers. Shall we go and see if Thomas and Leo are around? Yeah, let's. Now, it's just a quick trip to Babblebrook, Thomas. There'll be no stopping for sweets and ice cream and whatnot. No, Uncle Jasper. Straight there and straight back. I need to get these leaves cleared up. Yes, Uncle Jasper. Dust, yeah. Sorry, can't stop. I'm just off to Babblebrook. I hadn't actually come to see you. But if you haven't come to see me, what are you doing here? Mr Jones, can Thomas come and play? Of course he can. Off you pop, Thomas. I... I, I mean, um, off you go, if you want to. See you later, Uncle Jasper. Yes. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> there. Just tighten that down and there. That will do it. Shouldn't you have tightened that plug a bit? <laughs> Sounds like Walter's here anyway. I said that plug needed tightening. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh. Hello, you lot. We're going to go on a paper chase, and we thought Leo might want to come too. Oh, yeah. A paper chase? Woo woo! I've not been on a paper chase since, um, well, since, uh, since. I've never been on a paper chase. Well, now's your chance, Walter. How about joining us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Blooming leaves. Same thing every autumn. Turn brown, drop off the trees, and then Elsie gets me sweeping them all up. <sighs> Hello, Will Stumpion. Elsie got you hard at it, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've been sweeping for ages and the wind keeps blowing my pile about. Oh, well, there are easier ways of dealing with leaves than sweeping them, you know. Cheerio! Like what? Oh! Right, count to a hundred. That'll give us a head start, OK? Yeah! Yay! Yay! Yeah. And make sure you collect all the paper on the way. We don't want to leave litter all over the place. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go! <laughs> no more back-breaking, leaf-sweeping misery for me! Not with this little beauty! 94, 95, 96... 79, 100! Let's go! Yay! Here we go! Sounds like Mr. Jones has got a new toy. Hello, Mr. Jones. Ah, ah, works like a dream. I'll have the old place cleared in no time. Oh, look at that. Litter bugs get everywhere. Still, I expect this little beauty works on paper just as well as leaves. This way, here's another piece. I think they should left at the road. There. A job well done. The trail seems to stop here. So which way did they go? Maybe Stan ran out of paper. Or maybe they went this way. Yeah, look. Tractor tyre marks. Maybe Stan was just making it a little bit more tricky for us. <laughs> Wait till we catch up with him. Come on! There. Now all we have to do is wait for the chasers to catch us and then we can give them their surprise. I'll go and get the barbecue out. We can have a party. Are you sure they came this way? Well, no, but we've come in a pretty straight line. So that wouldn't change course without leaving something for us to follow. No sign of any paper? Nah, not a sausage. Here. I could do with a sausage. I'm getting a bit peckish, I am. <laughs> so we carry straight on, then? Suppose so. Hmm. It's getting late. I'd have thought they'd have been here by now. Evening, Stan. Nice day for it. Barbecue. That we were having... <clears throat> Good. Like a barbecue. Nice baked potato. In foil. <clears throat> Burgers, too, and a sausage. Kids here. Ryan, Amy. Time to get them home. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, no. They're not. I mean, they should be, though. Not here? Oh, I thought they were. I thought you were keeping an eye on them. We went on a paper chase. They should have been back by now, but don't worry, Mr Turvey. Walter's with them. 
I'm sure they're safe wherever they are. <coughs> Walter, eh? Good bloke. They'll be all right with him. <coughs> Any chance of a bite to eat while we're waiting? Potato or something? Well, I should... Hello, Skim. Have fun with the nippers, did you? Uh... Quite glad to get Thomas out from under my feet for five minutes. I was able to get all my leaves cleared up. Got a pretty nifty new machine for the job. Oh, so that's what I heard. It doesn't just work on leaves. Why, some thoughtless idiot had left a load of paper outside Beach Farm. It would have taken me ages to clean it all up if it hadn't been for my new leaf vacuum. Oh, no. What? What is it? You got rid of the paper? Well, yes. Don't want a load of litter outside my farm. What would people think? Oh, Mr Jones... That was a paper trail. We were having a paper chase. The kids were picking it all up. Ooh, no paper, no kids. We'd better go and look for them. Still no sign of any paper. No. Uh, and you'll know where we are? Tawny Owl Wood, of course. I know it's Tawny Owl Wood, but where in Tawny Owl Wood? We're lost. We're not lost. You see, we came in over there. Uh, no, um, over there. No, no, that's not right. That's, um, the, um, we're lost. They could be any... Hang on. Over there. It looks like they went that way. The trail will have gone cold here after Mr Jones cleared up all the paper. Maybe they thought those tracks were yours, little red tractor. OK, kids, here's what we'll do. It's too dark to carry on now, so we just have to make ourselves comfortable here. And then, in the morning, I'll climb a tree and try to find out just where we are. And I'll tell you what, we'll sing a song to keep our spirits up, all right? A well, a well, a well, a ay, mama luba, a dinga danga doodle. Twigs by my little eye, something beginning with T. Twig? No tree. So, no singing then? Trousers! No. I wonder. Could they have gone into the wood? Well, if they have, it'll be hard to find them. But maybe they could find us if we make a bit of noise. Hello there! Walter! Amy! Ryan! Uh, 10p? T no! T um, T tractor! Tractor? Huh? I can't see a tractor. No! I meant I think I heard one. This is a tractor. I think it's coming from over there. OK, let's all join hands. We don't want anyone getting lost. But we are lost. Not anymore. Little Red Tractor's found us. Stan, <laughs> you found us. Hey, <laughs> good to see you, Stan. But what happened to the paper trail? Mr Jones might be able to help you with that one. I'm sorry. This was a surprise worth waiting for, Stan. I'm starving. Well, I'm glad that everything worked out in the end. Thanks to you and Literary Tractor. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All we need now is Ryan and Amy. And for you to keep your nose out of our picnic hamper patch. Hi, Stan. We're here. Are you ready? Well, let's see. I've got sandwiches... Pop, Ryan, Amy, Stan, and Little Red Tractor. Yep, I reckon we're all ready for our picnic. Ah, Stan, there you are. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Stan. I've come to ask you a favour, Stan. See, I've been digging a drainage ditch in one of my fields. It's really hard work, isn't it, Uncle Jasper? I'll say, I don't know. Yes, that is no, no, not at all. Piece of cake. Only, but um... You said... Only! I've been called away on business and I was wondering... If I could finish the ditch off for you. Thank you, Stan. I knew I could rely on you. Thing is, we were going on a picnic. Well, you can have your picnic in my field. Maybe you could take Thomas with you. A picnic? Yeah! Well, that settles it. See you later. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Do you want some of these sandwiches? Phew, yeah. This digging builds up quite an appetite. Thanks, Amy. Maybe we could give you a hand. I don't know. It's very hard work. I'm pretty strong. Me too. We can do it. Right, then. Hang on. I think I've found something. 
It looks like a coin. And there's more down here. Look! Wow! You know what, Ryan? I think these might be Roman coins. Roman? I don't wow. believe it. Treasure! <laughs> Hello, oh. Mr. Jones. We finished your ditch. What? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uncle Jasper, <clears throat> we were digging your ditch. And Ryan found some coins. They look really Stan old. says they might be Roman. Yes, 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 so I did. Old. Quiet! Um, uh, <clears throat> Roman coins on my land? Hmm, these might be worth something. And I might even get my picture in the papers again. Well done, Ryan. Thank you very much for these. They're not for you. We found them. What? I mean, what? But, um, you didn't... I think the best thing would be to take them to the Babble Brook Museum. Have them take a look at the coins and see what they can make of them. Bye, Mr Jones. Bye, Tom. I'll see you later. I should have dug that ditch myself. Perhaps there's more. That's it, Thomas, yes. And if we find more coins, I can keep them. All we need is a metal detector. <laughs> wow! Powerful! <laughs> Stumpy, are you all right? Oh, never better, Stan. Never better. <laughs> We're famous. Are you now? Well, well, well. And who's that, then? I found some Roman coins. We took them to the museum. And the man there said they were. Uh, were what? Roman. And he's going to put them on display in the museum. They're going to be called the Turvy Collection. After us. Well, now, isn't that something? <laughs> Roman coins, eh? Can't wait to tell Mum and Dad. Hmm. Maybe it's about time we were getting back. Roman coins. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. <laughs> Stampy? Where is it? I'm sure of that. Nope. Hang on it! No. Not there. Oh, where is it? Ah. Ah. Stampy? <laughs> I knew I'd seen it! Seen what? This! Yes, but what? See you later! Oh, I don't know. We found them just there, Uncle Jasper. There must be some more coins around here somewhere. Come to Daddy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! Oh, Stumpy! Nearly scared the life out of me. What on earth possessed you to jump out at me like that? Yeah, sorry, Mr Jones. In a bit of a hurry. See, I bumped into Stan, well, a wall, actually, and he told me he'd found some Roman coins. And I remembered I'd got an old map of me dad's. It marks the spot of a Roman fort. Of course, boundary lines have changed a bit since his day, but I reckon it's somewhere around here. Perhaps I could have a look. Uh, there, see? Hang on, Stan. Uh, in a bit of a rush. I, I want to show it to Stan. Hmm. Well, if Stumpy's maps were right, the fort should be somewhere over there. And when I find it, <laughs> I'll be on the front page of the Babblebrook Gazette. We, oui, Uncle Jasper, I'm helping, remember? Yes, yes, of course. Hello? Yes! Oh, stupid thing! Hello? No, no, not you, my dear. <laughs> Is that the Babblebrook Gazette? Well, like I say, Stan, the boundaries have changed a bit since my old dad was a lad. But here's Tawny Owl Wood. And I reckon that must be the Roman fort. So it looks as if the fort might be in Top Acre. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and have a look. Hello! Sounds like I found... Ah! A horseshoe! Oh! Oh, you should be more careful, Ah, uh -huh. This time, yes, I'm sure I found... Uh -huh. Sorry I didn't see you there. Ah! Uh -huh. You're the chap from the Babelbrook Gazette. Have I got a story for you? You arrived at just the right moment. Think I found something big. Aha! Uh -huh. I appear to have detected your stuff. <clears throat> yes. Now, Mr. Jones, you say you've unearthed a Roman fort. Well, almost. Oh, hot work, this, Stan. <laughs> Are you sure we're looking in the right place? According to your dad's map, Stumpy, it ought to be somewhere around... 
Aha! Look at this. It's a brick. Great. A brick. But nothing's been built around here for ages. And look, here's another. I reckon this is part of a wall, Stumpy. And it looks as if it carries on along under there. Under that tree, Stump? <laughs> well, that's that. We'll never shift it. I think Little Red Tractor has other ideas. You haven't found a fort at all, have you, Mr Jones? Well, not yet, but I'm sure it's round here somewhere. We saw it on the map, didn't we, Thomas? I suppose so. <sighs> Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. Oh, nothing doing, Stan! Come on, one more try. It's moving! Go on, Little Red Tractor. Keep it going! Great stuff, Little Red Tractor. I knew you could Stan, do it. Stan! Come and take a look at this! Right, Mr Jones, I've got things to do. I said... Mr Jones, I... Mr Jones! I found something! I definitely found something, and this time it's big! Yes, but... Oh! Wow! Looks like we found the Roman fort, all right. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Just wait till the people at the Babble Brook Museum see this. Hello. Can you hear that? Yes. Sounds like a badger. With a paper. Ow! Almost got... Ah! Yet it's... Um, what is it? Drop it! Now, here we... Ah. Ah. I, uh... I seem to have detected Little Red Tractor. And we found the fort. Call yourself a metal detector. Why couldn't you have worked faster? Over here, please. Can I have a picture of the treasure seekers? Historic find by local man and his tractor. Pretty good stuff, eh? We're all famous. Thanks to a bit of help from Little Red Tractor. You really are the best. <laughs> there you go. That's your trailer attached. First on our list of jobs to do today is to check on the sheep. Ready? <laughs> That's strange. I can't see the sheep anywhere. Come on, we'd better investigate. This is unlike them. I've never seen them all gather at this end of the field before. Maybe something has frightened them. Could be a stray dog. Let's check the hedges for any gaps. What was that? There's something there. I can hear it. Wait! I can see something. Oh, it's only a rabbit. Come on, let's look further up. Morning, Stan. Hi there, Mr Turvey. I'm on the lookout for a stray dog. I can't say I've seen one and I've jogged the full length of the lane. About to do another lap, so I'll keep the old eyes peeled. What do you want a dog for? Thought you had a dog. What's his name? Uh, thingy. Hatch. Hatch, that's it. Hatch the dog. Uh, yes. But it's just that something has been frightening my sheep. Can't think what it could be except for a stray dog. Well, there is one new animal in the neighbourhood. It's quite something. Really? What? A llama. Mr Jones got a new llama. A llama? A llama. Big white thing. Looks like a camel. Well, not a camel, but you know. Hmm. I wonder why Mr Jones would want a llama. <laughs> Search me. Well, must run. Got to keep burning off the calories. See you. Come on, little red tractor. Let's finish checking these hedges. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Wait till Stan sees the new addition to my farm. He will be so jealous. <laughs> Hello, Llama. It's only me, nice Mr. Jones. Now, how would Llama like a nice brushy washy then? There we go, nice Llama. Oops, a daisy. Just a little tangle. Maybe if I brush a little harder. There, there, nearly done. 
What did you do that for? Uh, hello? Up here, Stumpy! What are you doing up there? My llama attacked me! What's one of them, then? Oh, a llama is one of those! Oh, I see! <laughs> you can't be scared of this fluffy little thing! <laughs> be careful, Stumpy! He could attack at any moment! Hello, little chap. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> He seems very friendly to me. Could you perhaps part with the llama for long enough to get me down? I'll have to call Stan. I don't have a ladder, see? Oh, I am going to look like such a fool. Looks like a stray dog may have got through the hedge here. We'd better get this gap blocked up. Hello? Hi, Stumpy. Mr Jones? Stuck up a tree? I'll go fetch my ladder. We'll be right over. Come on, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thank you, little red tractor. So this llama of yours attacked you? Yes. I was giving his coat a brush and he spat at me. From what I know, llamas don't usually do that. And there's more. He then kicked me into this tree. I was told he was tame, but I think he's wild. I suggest you wash him down first. It'll be a lot easier to groom him when his coat is wet. Well, that's a good point. I always find it easier to groom my hair when it's wet. I see. Well, thank you all for your help, but I am sure I'll be fine now. Well, we have to get back and fix a hedge in Middlefield. Let me know if you need anything else. Now then, nice llama, it seems we got off to a bad start. So, how about a nice little washy poo? Hmm? Ah, oh, that water has come out far too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, not again. <laughs> 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 We were so close! Nearly a whole trip around the block without a breakdown. I say, Walter! Rusty, you can speak! Not the car, you fool! Mr Jones? Up here! Oh, hi there! Oh, nice day for a bit of tree climbing. Quite, but I am not tree climbing, I am stuck. Could you help me get down? No ladder, I'm afraid. Tell you what, I'll give Stan a ring. Oh, no. Well, look a year, a llama. Hello, boy. You're a lovely looking fella. Be careful, he's wild. Oh, you're not scared of a llama. He's so cute. Look at his little face. Walter, how about getting me down? Uh, yeah, excuse me for a moment. I, I need to call Stan. Oh, you'll like him. They've already met. I hope that'll keep the sheep safe. The trouble is, we can't be here all the time to keep an eye on them. Hello? Hello, Walter. Really? I see. We're on our way. You're not going to believe it, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Again! Come on, let's go! I was trying to dampen his coat before I groomed him, but the water came out too fast. Came out too fast? Yes, the hose, you see, it was set to jet wash. Why didn't you use a bucket? No wonder the poor thing was upset. Look, Stan, I think you're right. I, I, I really don't know how to look after him. Everything I do seems to upset him, and yet he loves everyone else. I may have an idea that helps us both. How about I take the llama? You would? What do you need a llama for, Stan? Something has been worrying my sheep. Llamas make great guard animals, so I could keep him in middle field to look after the flock. The question is, how to get him over there? I have a horse box, Stan. You could use that. Little red tractor, are you up for towing the llama over to middle field? <laughs> oh, Stan, thank you. If there's anything I can do... Well, actually, you could tell me and Rusty back to the garage. Oh, very well. 
Seems like you've found a new friend, little red tractor. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, Stan. I just popped by to see how the llama's settling in. He's doing fine. He seems to like his new home. The sheep absolutely love him, and Little Red Tractor has made friends too. Welcome to Gosling Farm. <laughs> Are you going to give him a name? Hmm, good idea. What about Larry? Oh, he likes that. <laughs> Welcome, Larry. Just thought I'd drop by and see how the little chap is settling in. As you can see, he's fine. Why not come and say hello? <clears throat> hello, Llama. His name's Larry. Uh, um, hello, Larry. Oh, come on. He's not going to bite. <laughs> he hates me. <gasps> oh, no. No, Kitty. Well, <laughs> there. You're OK. Where did Mr Jones go? I'm not sure. Can anyone help me down? Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need the ladder again. <laughs> ah, Skian. Good morning. Brought some things for the sale, I see. Yes, although you seem to have a lot here already. You never can have too much, Dan. In fact, Stumpy has a few old board games he said I could have, and the Turvia family offered a few bits and bobs, too. Uh, no, I think. Well, that's good, isn't it? But they need picking up, you see, and I, uh... Well, <laughs> as you can see, I'm up to my eyes. OK, I'll do it now. Stan, you are a marvel. Thank you so much. I'm getting tired of this. Every time I think you're fixed, you break down again. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Please work! Everything all right, Walter? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I thought maybe you'd broken down again. No, 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 no. no I'm a mechanic, Stan. Simple thing like a car couldn't fox me, eh? <laughs> I was... I was just checking the wheels, you see. Uh, three and four. <laughs> well, yeah, four. Spot on. Well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Right. You have one last chance. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> Save me a trip. No problem. Mr Jones is certainly going to town with his garage sale. You've never seen so much stuff. Oh, you know him. He never does anything by halves. <laughs> right, one more stop at Rose Cottage and then I might have a look round the sale myself. See ya. Bye, Stan! Why don't we have one more go to get you started? Hmm? For me? Still here, Walter? Uh, so, no, I'm just, I'm just counting the headlights, you see. One and uh, two. Well, there you go. Phew. <sighs> Just as I expected. Are you sure you're all right, Walter? I'm enjoying the country air stand, that's all. <laughs> right, that does it. I've had enough of this stupid car. I'm going to call Nicola and we'll tow this old wreck straight to the scrapyard where it obviously belongs. Just a minute. Mr Jones is having a garage sale. Why not tow it there? Someone may have use for it. You know, that's a good idea. Well, I have another pickup to do, so I'll see you there. <laughs> see you later. Hi there, Amy. Is he for the garage sale? Yep, and I have two more. Hello, Ryan. Don't tell me Ted is going to the sale too. Yes, he is. You're far too old for a teddy bear, Ryan. He's not a teddy bear. He's an action bear. I don't have to take the bear, you know, Ryan. <sighs> no, it's OK. I am a bit too old for a stuffed bear. I'll make sure he goes to a good home. Right, time I was off. Maybe I'll see you at the sale later on. Bye, Stan. Bye, bear. <laughs> 
Uh, you can't leave that there. I'm having a garage sale. Exactly. Now you have a real bargain. I've decided to sell my car. Could fetch a pretty penny, so you want to put it where it could be clearly seen. Well, I do have space right at the back there, over by the silo. We'll never get sparky for all that stuff. Tell you what, we'll leave it right here at the front. You'll see, people will be flocking in. They love a bargain. But I... No, 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 save your thanks. I'm sure you'll be able to do me a similar favour one day. Right, Dad, it's all yours. I've got to get back to work. No worries. Thanks, Nicola. But no one is going to buy this. It's junk. Not junk. Just a beautiful old car that needs a little tender care. And a new door. Nice colour, though. Hello. Everyone happy? I'll be happy when I see the back of that thing. What price should I ask for it, Stan? You want money for it? <laughs> Let me drop off this lot, and I'll help you paint a sign. Where do you want it? Gnomes with garden accessories, board games on the table back there, and uh, what else? Oh, what a cute teddy bear. <laughs> Look. Oh, that reminds me of when I... Ah, well, anyway, and teddy bears with toys, please, Stan. OK, I'll leave the trailer in your barn, if that's all right. May want to buy a few things myself, and I can load up later. Please, I can do. Maybe 200? 50, then? Decided on a price yet? I was thinking 50, Stan. It's got to be one of the 50. Or 20? You may be right there. 20! <laughs> and I'll throw in a fluffy dice. Yeah. <laughs> a bargain in any language. Right, let's paint up a sign. Ah, oh, there you are. Hi, Amy. What's the matter? You've been miserable ever since Stan left. Oh, nothing. It's your bear, isn't it? You didn't have to give him to the sale if you didn't want to. I know, but he's gone now, so that's it. No, it isn't. We can go and get him back. Come on, let's get Mum. Yeah, let's go and get him. A work of art. Well, let's hope it does the trick. Better leave it for a while to dry, eh? Don't leave that there. I don't want anyone thinking my beautiful house is for sale. Good point. I'll find somewhere in the sun where it can dry. Oh, I nearly forgot. There is something I need to do. See you later. Hang on, Stan. I'll come with you. Oh, hi there. What a delightful sale and so many bargains. I can't believe that lovely thing out there is so cheap. I'll take it. <laughs> you think so? Oh, my, Walter will be pleased. Utterly adorable. It takes all kinds, Stumpy. I can't believe anyone would call Walter's old wreck adorable. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? I, 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 I just, just, just bought this tractor, but it's, it's g -g -g gone cr crazy. Bought my tractor? Little Red Tractor is not for sale. Oh, wait a minute. Calm down, Little Red Tractor. There has been a mistake, I'm afraid. Here, yeah, great newsstand. Someone has bought my car. You put the for sale sign on Little Red Tractor. Well, yeah, only while I was waiting for it to dry. Well, this poor chap thought he was buying Little Red Tractor. Oh, oh, I'm all of a dither. Well, look on the bright side. You got this lovely bargain. Looking for anything in particular? A teddy bear. An action bear, actually. We donated it to the sale by mistake. I was hoping we could get him back. Oh, no bear, I'm afraid. Oh, we must have sold it. Maybe we can find another one. You can't replace action bear. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, thanks. I think I'll go home. I don't care how much character it has, I bought the tractor. <laughs> It's got fluffy dice. Oh. Oh, now they are nice. 
Oh, yes, I do like these. Now, forget the car and the tractor. I'll buy them. Ah, Ryan, just the chap. I bought you a little present. I was thinking that he looked a bit lonely, so I bought him back for you. Oh, thanks, Stan. I could throw the car in with the fluffy dice, you know. <laughs> no, thank you. How about you, Stan? Looking for a bargain? I have my bargain, thank you, Walter. And he didn't cost me a penny. Oops! Tickles, does it? It's going to tickle more if you can't keep still. Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. What are you doing? Giving his engine a good clean. A clean engine is a happy engine. But it would seem that it tickles. You know what today is, don't you? No. What? What happened exactly one year ago today? I have no idea. Keep still! It's Little Red Tractor's birthday. We finished restoring him one year ago today. Did I now? Yes. We should have a birthday party. And presents. True, but we have chores to do first. But after the chores... Everyone should have a party on their birthday. I think a party is a great idea, but let's make it a surprise, OK? Great! A Shh! It's supposed to be a surprise, silly. Great! A party! Now, I have work to do, so... Leave it to us, Stan. We'll organise everything. It's a deal. Come on, we have work to do. Then we can think about your birthday. See you later, you two. Let's see if Mum will make a cake. And we'll need one candle too, a big one. Oh, get me down! Oh, why do these things always happen to me? Oh, oh that's better. It stopped. Oh, I can see Gosling Farm from here. You all right, Stumpy? Don't think you should be playing on the sails. I'm not playing. I was cleaning the windows when the sails started up and knocked me off my ladder. Just you hang on there. I have an idea. Well, I'm hardly going to be moving, Stan. Now, I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that there. I'm going to fix the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height and then you can climb down, OK? OK, but hurry! Hold still, little red tractor. Where you go, Stumpy? Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Stan. You too, little red tractor. <laughs> I don't know anyone who has as many accidents as you. <laughs> I do have my moments, don't I? Oh, where's my hat? There. Good as new. <sighs> ah, lovely. Peace and quiet. A perfect place for a spot of fishing, eh, Big Blue? <laughs> ah. Hmm. Where shall I sit? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a daisy chain for a little red tractor. I finished the cake mix. Anyone want to clean out the bowl? Me! Oh no, listen to that. He's going to scare off the fish. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, Dumpy, you're going to break your neck on that thing. Nipper's not a thing. You don't call Big Blue a thing, do you? Nah, but Big Blue is useful and works hard for his keep. Well, Nipper's useful too. He makes a lot of noise and throws you all over the place. Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll give you that. Anyway, I came by to tell you it's Little Red Tractor's birthday. Oh, that's my hat! What is it now? My hat! You just gave it to the fish! 
You are the most accident-prone person I have ever met. And if you ask me, having a birthday for a tractor is really quite silly. Oh, I'm sure I can find him a present of some kind. <coughs> I said I would get him something. What now? Uh, you couldn't catch my hat for me first, could you? I came here to catch fish, not a hat. Hello. What have you got there? See for the... You know what? We can't set it all up with you and Little Red Tractor here. He'll find out about the... You know what? Tell you what, I'll take him around to the garage. I need some wrapping paper anyway. Great. We'll set up the... You, you know, know what? what? One last short trip and then we can finish for the day. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go! Master Nipper, the wind's drawing my hat! Look out! Oh, no! Phew, well done. I don't know how you missed him. Stumpy, are you all right? Stumpy! Stumpy! <laughs> Afternoon, Stan. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I was drying my hat. Oh, I've lost it again. There it is, Stumpy. One of these days, Stumpy, you are going to do yourself a mischief on that quad bike. I know. I've already had quite a day for excitement. Listen, I've got Amy and Ryan waiting at the farm. We're going to have a surprise birthday tea for Little Red Tractor. Why don't you and Nipper join us? Oh, 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 we'd love to. I have to pop to the garage. Meet me at Gosling Farm in half an hour. Mm. Oh, nearly closing time. Oh, just in time, Stan. We're just about ready to close. Glad I caught you. I need some wrapping paper. Mm. No problem. Uh, someone's birthday. Actually, it's Little Red Tractors. I finished rebuilding him a year ago today and the kids want to have a surprise party. Oh, what a good idea. Happy birthday, little red tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't try to sing, little red tractor. I'll get your wrapping paper and I might have a little present for the birthday boy. Is it your birthday, Stan? No, it's his, but don't get him singing again. Don't listen to him. Happy birthday. Here, have the paper on the house. And here's a small gift from Nicola and me. Well, thank you both. Why don't you join us? Oh, Stan, we'd love to come. I sh uh, stand and chat, but uh, we're going into Babblebrook tonight to see a band. Well, we'd best be off too. Come on, let's go. Tractor. Happy birthday. I made it myself. And we have a cake for you too. It looks just like you. Now it's time for my present. Stumpy, there's a gift from Walter and Nicola there. Why don't you unwrap it? Oh my, look here. Your favourite. What is it? You can unwrap it for Little Red Tractor and then you'll find out. I'll fix these on for you. Thought I might find you all here. Come and join the party. Uh, Stumpy, uh, I was a bit grumpy with you this morning, so I brought you a little gift to say sorry. Oh, 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 oh thank you. This should keep me out of trouble. <laughs> and this is a little something for the birthday boy from Big Blue and myself. Well, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. Look, a new towing rope for your toolbox. Happy birthday, Little Red Tractor! Please don't sing! <laughs> Well, this is the last box patch. That's the barn finally tidied up. Lots more room in there now, and a bit more room for you, little red tractor. Hi, Stan. 
Nan. What are you doing? I've cleaned out the barn. What's this? That's my granddad. He was a very keen horseman. In fact, he won the Babblebrook Gold Cup three years running. You mean your granddad was a champion? Oh, not really. The Babblebrook Gold Cup was a race around the farms they used to run during the holidays. Granddad used to love it. <laughs> I'll have to find somewhere to hang it. Stan, there's something stuck to the back. What is it? Hmm, it's some kind of a map. It seems to mark a spot right at the end of Five Oaks Field. That's where the old stables used to be. Now, why would he have a map to mark that? It's treasure, I bet. Well, Grandad didn't have much except for Little Red Tractor over there. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll have to take a look. Let's look now. It could be treasure, gold and stuff. Don't be silly. It's not treasure. Is it, Stan? Tell you what, I have to deliver some grain to Stumpy's windmill. We'll go and take a look at the weekend. Oh, but I want to go now. Whatever lies there was buried by my grandfather many years ago. I'm sure it will still be there at the weekend. Oh, OK. Come on, Amy. See you later, Stan. See you later, little red tractor. Come on, let's get this grain delivered. But that belongs to Stan. I only borrowed it. I'm going to give it back. It's still stealing. Just borrowing. I don't want to keep anything. We'll just go and take a look and whatever we find, we'll give to him. You know what Stan's like. He'll get all busy and we'll never get to go. Well, it would be an adventure, wouldn't it? OK. Come on, let's go. Sorry, did we surprise you there, Stumpy? Oh, oh hello, Stan. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to tweak the engine on Nipper. I'm sure he's running way too fast. Strange thing, Stumpy. I found an old painting of Grandad today on a horse. I think it was the one he used to ride in the Babblebrook Gold Cup. Oh, oh, oh yes. My old dad used to ride in that. Oh, good times, Stan, I can tell you. <laughs> Mind you, your grandfather was the best of the best. <laughs> Whatever happened to the old cup? I thought Grandad won it three times and got to keep it. Oh, there's a story there, all right. Come on, I'll get the kettle on and tell you all about it. <laughs> I thought he might. And three paces this way. Ouch! <laughs> it's not funny, Amy. According to the map, the treasure is buried right... Here. Are you sure? That's what the map says. Come on, let's start digging. So, you see, Gosling Farm was losing a lot of money. And your grandfather was worried he might have to sell everything to keep it going. I knew times were hard for Grandad, so why didn't he sell the cup? Well, he wanted you to inherit the farm. And I'm sure he'd have wanted you to have his gold cup as well. So he buried the cup to save it, so that he could give it to me? <laughs> Thanks, Stumpy. Let's get this grain unloaded, and then I'll go to Five Oaks Field and see what I can find. How about that, little red tractor? We're going on a treasure hunt. I'm bored. Maybe I should have taken bigger steps. Stan's granddad would have had bigger legs than me. And a bigger brain. I've got something! What is it? Help me out! Uh oh Mr Jones is coming! Help me get out! Well, well, well. What are you up to? Uh, digging for treasure? No, we're not. Aye. You have been busy. Hmm, maybe I should call Ryan and Amy. I'm sure they'd hate to miss our treasure hunt. Hey, what's up? You're right. 
They're already over there. And I can see Big Blue and Mr Jones, too. Come on, let's go. Are you all right down there? Uh, yes, thank you. May I? That belongs to Stan. Well, it would appear to me that you have been digging in my field, and therefore I believe the, uh, whatever it is, is mine. We found the gold cup for your granddad won. You mean I found it? Well, that's great. It looks a little the worse for wear, though. As a matter of fact, this cup, or whatever it is, was found in my field, so... But it belongs to Stan, doesn't it, Stan? Well, the cup really belonged to my granddad, but I think he meant for me to have it. He won it in the Bubble Brook Gold Cup. Ah, yes, I've heard about that. <laughs> think you could win this cup back, Stan? Stan could win any race easily. But neither of us have a horse. Little Red Tractor could race Big Blue. And the winner keeps the Bubble Brook Gold Cup. Well... OK, you're on. <laughs> Here you are, Stan. It's my lucky hat. I think you're going to need it. <laughs> right. Once round the field, under the tree, through the gates and then back. OK. Ready? Stan! Ready! Go! Come on, little red tractor. You can do it. Good grief, that was close. Didn't realise the branch was so low. Never mind, Big Blue. We can still catch him. We are bigger and faster. Let's go! I can't see where I'm going. So much for Walter's lucky hat. Sorry, little red tractor. You stopped just in time. Need a lift, Stanley. We're a long way behind, but let's give it our best. Oh, we're too wide to get through, Big Blue. I'll have to open the other gate. Hang on. Careful. We'll never make it. I don't believe it. We're going to get beaten by that old lump of tin. Don't forget to close the gate after you. Stan and Little Red Tractor are going to win. Oh, 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 quite right, too. Oh, his grandfather would be proud. Well done, Little Red Tractor. I knew you could do it. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Stan. But you and that little red tractor of yours deserve to win. Well done. You may not be big, but you're the best. 